I've noticed that there are almost no resources out there that talk about the Microsoft PL200 certification renewal process. And if you're like me, you wanna know what to expect before you take this renewal exam. And this process can be confusing, but fortunately, you can take a breath. You'll see that this renewal process is pretty easy as we cover the test format and questions, how you can see your score, and one important detail you need to keep in mind when renewing your exam. For starters, Microsoft does do a good job of letting you know that your certification is going to expire soon. They will email you six months before your certification expires and email you again once it gets a little closer to expiring. You can see here in my email that this is the reminder that they sent me. You can click on the renew your certification button and this is gonna take you directly to the screen you need. You can also get to the screen from your Microsoft Learn profile under your certifications, it'll show you the certifications expiring soon. Something that is really nice is you can see that my certification is going to expire on July 9th and currently as of recording this, it is March 13th. When I renew this certification, it's going to extend the expiration date one year, so to July 9th, 2025. Because of this, there's really no sense in waiting to renew your certification. I would say just get it done and out of the way because if you forget to renew, then you have to go through the entire recertification process, which includes the proctored exam, also includes paying for the exam again as well. And considering the renewal is completely free, letting it expire would be absolutely brutal. Enough talking about the stuff you probably don't care about. What does the actual renewal exam look like? So unlike the original cert, the renewal process is completely open book, open note, open everything. It is not proctored. It actually feels odd how informal the renewal certification is considering how formal and restrictive the original certification process is. Your exam is gonna have 25 questions taken from a question bank, so you can get different questions if you take it multiple times. The questions are either multiple choice or multi-select, like of the five, which two are dot, dot, dot. Also, it says on the bottom of the screen that there is a 45 minute time limit. I don't think I've really gotten close to running out of time, but just wanted to share so that you're aware of it. Also, when you're taking your exam, it actually shows a little timer, but mine, I don't know if it was broken or what, but it just read zero, 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 zero the entire exam. So I don't know if it's not timing or if just the timer display isn't working, I didn't really feel like testing it out. But once you're ready, go ahead and select the take your renewal exam button. This is going to direct you straight to the exam. There's no additional sign in or identification stuff. I'm gonna blur my questions out because I'm not sure if I'm able to share them, but like I said, this is open everything. So take your time and use the resources available to you to research a question if you don't necessarily know the answer. Also, a super important thing to know is that you can't go back to a previous question. Once you select next, the previous question's answer is final. I personally like to check my work, but for whatever reason, this is how Microsoft rolls. After you crush out all 25 problems and put in the perfect answer for each one of them, go ahead and hit submit and boom, hopefully you will be greeted with this screen here. Microsoft will send you an email notifying you of your renewal as well. Hitting see results is going to allow you to kind of see how you did with the different topics. One important call out is that you only need 15 questions correct in order to pass or a 60%. Also, do not worry if you did not pass your first exam. I may or may not have failed my first attempt as well. You can literally just go back to the first screen and take your exam again. I'm not sure about how many attempts you get as a test taker, but my second time through the exam was the exact same experience as my first time. And there you have it. This is truly all you need to know about renewing your PL200. I'd recommend you check out this video here for more Power Platform content on the channel. Thank you guys so much for sticking to end the video. My name is Griffin Lickfeld, the host of Citizen Developer, and I'm excited to connect with you guys in the next one.